And Captain April fixes the door at the last second and slides open to remove The original founder of the Empire, right? Well, yes. <laughs> I don't know, it's a whole evil dictator thing. It's a little cliche. Well, we could change that into like a, a evil toupee that controls people. Look, like, like I realize you ain't just some bum off the street and like, I think my kid liked one of your shows, maybe, or something. Oh, really? Which one? I could sign a DVD for him. Listen, listen. As a favor to Joe, and out of respect for your previous work. Bring me a screenplay tomorrow. I'll read it. That's the best I can do. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Day. I'll return tomorrow. Just avoid the cliches. Of course. It worked! Who the hell are you? Why are you wearing trash bags? Greetings, I'm from the future. What? Thank you for this delicious prehistoric pizza, friend, but I'm afraid I must be getting to see the president now. Wait, 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 wait. You can't just go marching up to the White House claiming to be from the future and demanding to see Barack Obama. They'll throw you in the nut house quicker than you can blink. Nevertheless, I have a mission to complete. I have an idea. What you need to do is tell your story. Get the public used to the idea of having a time-traveling ambassador from the future. How do you propose to do this? Through a popular fictional television show. <laughs> television, huh? Do you have science fiction in the future? We do. We call it regular fiction. I like this idea. Let's do it. All right. Act one, scene one. Tell me all about the future. <laughs> the first thing you need to understand about the president of the Galactic Empire is he's a giant, evil hairpiece named Donald Trump.